There are many reasons to introduce plants into your tank. From oxygenating the water to providing shelter, plants will keep the tank and the fish much healthier. Hornwort is one of the easiest freshwater plants to grow. This is demonstrated by its success in the wild where it has spread to every continent except Antarctica, after originating in North America. Its high tolerance to various water conditions makes it ideal for beginners, while its fast growth rate and ease of propagation mean a little will go a long way. It can be used as either a floating plant or rooted in the substrate, giving you more freedom when designing the look of your aquarium. This also increases the range of freshwater fish that can benefit from it. If you are looking for an easy, fast-growing plant then hornwort could be for you. Here is a brief summary of what you should expect. Before we jump into the overview of these plants, do make sure you support us by subscribing to our channel and by sharing this video among your friends. This video will give you a detailed knowledge about hornwort plants so that you can take care of them after you introduce them into your tank. Let's get going then. Hornwort, or Ceratophyllum, is a popular freshwater aquarium plant. The number of species is uncertain. Over 300 species names have been published, but there are likely only 100 to 150 species due to misidentification. The most common species for an aquarium is Ceratophyllum demersum. Its hardy nature makes it ideal for beginners or those looking to introduce a non-fussy plant to their tank. While being hardy is useful in an aquarium, in the wild it can cause problems. Its tolerance to a wide range of conditions, coupled with a fast growth rate, allows it to spread to new areas as an invasive species. This has become a problem in places such as New Zealand where it is out-competing native plant species and disrupting hydroelectric power generation. Another reason for hornwort's success is that it has allelopathic abilities. This means that it can produce chemicals that prevent the growth of other species, leaving more space and nutrients for itself. The achievements of this plant are demonstrated by the numerous locations it can be found across the globe, it has cosmopolitan distribution. This plant now exists on all continents except Antarctica. The popularity of this plant creates a high demand and as a result, it is stocked in many stores. Since this species grows rapidly, it can be produced in high densities very cheaply, so it is usually sold cheaply. Now let's talk about the benefits. One of the main reasons that people add hornwort is its aesthetic. Adding plants to your tank increases the amount of color, whether it is at the top as a floating plant or grounded in the substrate. It also gives your aquarium a new dynamic as it sways in the current. What people do not often consider is how it keeps your tank healthier. As a plant, hornwort photosynthesizes. The main byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen. As a result, it will oxygenate the tank for your fish. Furthermore, it provides areas of shelter for fish looking to escape each other or the light. Plants like this may be used as a nursery for fry as well. Finally, it helps improve the quality of the water. It takes in small amounts of the waste that fish produce, as well as nitrogen compounds, keeping the water cleaner and lightening the workload for the filter. Lastly, the allelopathic abilities that we have already mentioned above, can inhibit the growth of blue-green algae cyanobacteria. This is an alga that can quickly get out of control in conditions with too much light or lots of organic waste. If left to its own devices, anchored stems could grow all the way up to the surface of your tank with 0 to 3 branches per node. In a natural habitat, it can reach 10 feet long and 1 tenth inch in diameter. Leaves or needles are produced in whorls of 6 to 12. They tend to fork once or twice but remain relatively short, generally less than 1 inch. In most instances, this is a dark green plant, though lighter green shades can occur in warmer environments. Hornwort is a flowering plant that is important for reproduction. Both male and female flowers are found on the same specimen, making it a monoecious plant. Do not expect much color from the flowers as they are brown and only one-tenth inch long. They are comfortable in a range of temperatures, roughly 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Consequently, it is often incorporated into both cold water and tropical setups. Similarly, pH can range from 6.0 to 7.5 while hardness should be 5 to 15 dGH. Filtration is required to keep nitrogen compounds low, ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates but there are no special requirements. Now the question arrives should we let them float or should we plant them? Honestly, it really depends on what aesthetic you are going for when aquascaping, as well as considering the preferences of your fish. Whether planting or floating, 
They make excellent shelter for small fish, with many species using it as a site to reproduce and keep fry safe. At this point you need to consider which fish you have. Surface dwelling fish such as hatchetfish would appreciate floating hornwort whereas fish in the mid to lower levels such as tetras or loaches would prefer it to be planted. Looking beyond shelter, floating plants provide shaded areas in the lower levels. This gives fish space to escape the light, which can really bring out their colorations. While showing off the colors of fish below, floating it on the surface also adds a pleasant aesthetic to an area that is often devoid of attraction. Make sure to avoid planting it close to a filter inlet so that it does not get blocked by any plant debris. Since hornwort does not have roots it can be planted in most substrates, though fine-grained sands are preferable to secure the bottom leaves of the stem. To increase the growth rate, ensure that the plant is receiving a high intensity of light. This can be done by changing the light fitting and making sure that nothing is shading the hornwort. More light results in a larger, greener plant. Hornwort has very few demands and is therefore likely to be suited to your aquarium. It is a hardy plant making it more ideal for beginners. It is multi-purpose, improving the safety of young fry while also keeping fish waste and algae levels down. Its ability to function as a floating plant makes it a rare point of interest for surface dwelling fish, while planted alternatives provide shelter to fish from the lower levels. If you are prepared for regular trimming of the stems to prevent it from dominating the tank, they will make an attractive addition to most aquariums. That is all you should know before getting these plants. If you have any doubts regarding anything, do let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel.